Hey there, welcome back, it's me Jadron and in this video, I am going to show you how does M vacuum cleaner work. So before we get started, I just want to confess that you will hear some firecracker sound in this video because right now, I'm recording this video on 21st of April 2023. So right now in Malaysia, it's Ramadan which is Malay New Year. Malays are enjoying their time playing their firecrackers so you will hear some firecrackers noises in this video. So let's get started. To start with, we must know that atmospheric pressure is away from high pressure to low pressure. So, high pressure. To low pressure. So if you have known the reason why always high pressure goes to lower pressure, you may skip this part. So high pressure means we will have greater molecules per unit volume. So if we have more molecules per unit volume, means that greater molecules heating per unit volume so the reason why molecules always hitting each other is that they're constantly vibrating so greater molecules hitting per unit volume this leads to greater molecules Exit force per unit volume or per unit area. But right now I'm talking three dimensional, which means volume, but it's almost the same. So we will have greater force. Okay. So we will have greater, so high pressure means more molecules per unit volume, which means if I draw a box, oops, which means, which means if I, oh, come on. So the volume of this box is, so the volume of this box is one meter cube. So in this box right here, let's say we will have, four molecules, one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm just going to color this to red color. Four molecules. Okay. This four here, what's happening? So greater molecules per unit volume here, then greater molecules hitting per unit volume as well, means all the molecules in this box right here keep hitting each other, keep hitting the box, which means if you are hitting, means you are exiting a force. So greater molecules exit force per unit volume. This leads to greater force in this box and greater pressure. Okay, so greater pressure because the formula of pressure it's pressure equals force over area so if you have greater force means you have greater pressure okay but we can change this area to volume so pressure equals force over area let's say let's times Okay, because length times base, it's area, if you times height, it's volume, right? So if you cut this, it's still the same. But I do not want to cut this because I want to change this denominator to volume. So pressure equals to force times height times volume times volume but it's the same if you increase the force 
means we are increasing the pressure. So if the denominator, its area, is still the same, the pressure will increase. If the denominator, its volume, is the same, the pressure will increase. As long as you have greater force, which means you have greater pressure, right? So I'm just going to quickly erase this. So I've done this part, higher pressure. Right now, I'm going to do lower pressure. I'm just going to change my color to maybe, maybe green, okay? Green, no, not green. Maybe light blue, okay? Light blue. So high pressure means greater molecules per unit volume, right? But right now, it's low pressure means you will have lower molecules per unit volume. So this arrow, it's quite long, right? So I'm just going to put a shorter arrow. So it indicates lower, okay? So hold on, I'm just going to write left a bit. So lower molecules is the same per unit volume. So lesser molecules per unit volume this leads to lesser molecules lesser molecules hitting per unit volume okay so lesser molecules hitting per unit volume this leads to lesser molecules exert force Oh, forces, except forces. Hold on. Except forces. Okay, because it's plural, so forces. So right here, I did a mistake. Plural, because molecules, right? So we have more than one force, which is forces. So I did a mistake there. Greater molecules exert forces. So greater molecules exert more forces per unit volume. Okay, so this leads to lesser force and lesser pressure. Pressure. And just an extra knowledge, the sign of pressure is PA. Okay? PA. And forces, not force. Because we have more than one molecule, which is molecules, means we have more than one force. So forces. So, oops. So, and again, I'm going to draw a box. This time, I'm going to draw a blue box because to make it easier to see. So let's say we have greater molecules per unit volume, right? So let's say we have four molecules. Hmm, let me just put two molecules, okay? Two molecules. The volume of the box is still the same. One meter cube and two molecules, okay? So right here, the volume is constant, but the molecule it's increasing means more force. So and again, pressure equals force H, which is the height times volume. Okay, so the volume here is constant. So we do not have to worry about the volume. Hold on, I can't draw. Okay, let me just bring this up a little bit okay so if you so right here the volume which is V it's constant but we can change the force right the force the height is constant too because 1 times 1 times 1 is equal to 1 so 1 meters cube so the height and the volume here is constant 
So it's just the force. The force is independent variable. So if more molecules means greater force, which means you have a greater pressure here. If you have lesser molecules, if you have lesser molecules means you have lesser force, which means you have lower pressure, okay? So I have done explaining the high pressure and the low pressure characteristics. But right now, I'm going to explain how pressure reaches its equilibrium, which means it makes each number per unit volume equals to number of molecules. So what did I mean is that if we have a box here, okay, So this box, let's say it's 2 meters cube, okay? Which means we are adding this, both of these boxes together. We merge them out. So, if you have high pressure, means you are... So if you have high pressure, means you are compressing more molecules per unit volume, right? But what happens if you release them? If you release them, they will burst it out. Because you have greater force per unit area or per unit volume, means that is why they burst it out immediately at a rapid speed. So if we release this box, and we release this box as well, then... Or let's turn this into atmosphere, right? Atmosphere means our air, atmosphere. So let's say we have 1 meter cubes of atmosphere which contain of four molecules, four air molecules, any molecules, or oxygen molecules, any molecules. So we turn this box to atmosphere as well, two molecules, any molecules, as long as it's red and it's blue, it's easier for us to see. So if we release this molecule and this molecule, this molecule will, tends, will tends to burst it out because greater force per unit volume or area. So what happened is that this guy here will burst it out until it reaches a certain amount of pressure, which is the which is the same as the air, which is the same as the atmospheric pressure. So these red molecules they are from the higher pressure, right? So right now the lower pressure, if we release it, it's here. Okay, so it tends to spread it out evenly. So this, so this molecules here has reached its equilibrium, equilibrium, which means equal and at the same time constant. Okay, so let's say if we split this two into half, this atmosphere into half. Oops. So let's, so let's say if you split this two. So let's say if we split this atmosphere into half, which means it has spread it evenly. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so it has reached its equilibrium. Okay? So that is why high pressure always go to lower pressure because high pressure has more force, it tends to spread it out evenly. And the another thing that you have to know is that molecules or air molecules it's constantly vibrating okay so any molecules air molecules or even metal particles or metal atoms they are constantly vibrating okay so greater so if you increase in energy or increase in heat they are the same energy and heat they are the same they will increase in speed as well if you increase in speed um let's say f equals to ma just a quick one if you increase in acceleration you will increase the force as well okay so that's it for this high pressure to low pressure maybe i will make a video specifically explaining this high pressure to low pressure thingy okay so let's go back to where we have stopped just now how a vacuum cleaner works so okay basically we can use the high pressure principle to low pressure 
principle to put it into a vacuum cleaner to suck an object in. Okay, so what do so what did I mean is that let me draw a vacuum cleaner here. Just a rough drawing of it. No, nope, that's not nice. Just a rough drawing of it. Okay, a rectangular one. So normally a vacuum cleaner in my house, it has two wheels. Okay, and the hose. Let's say this is a hose. Just a rough drawing. Do not laugh at my drawing. <laughs> so this is the hose. And let's say we want to suck in an object, maybe a cube, just a square cube, okay, just a square cube. So we can use the principle of high pressure to low pressure to put it this vacuum machine right here. So this machine, this vacuum machine, this vacuum cleaner, it sucks in air, right? So if you suck in air, which means you will decrease in molecules, right? Because most of the molecules are being sucked by this vacuum cleaner. So if this vacuum cleaner suck in those air around here, just around here, a small area, those molecules right here will decrease in pressure, right? Okay, so decrease in pressure. Maybe I will draw three molecules or three air particles, whatever. So three molecules decrease. So three molecules. So, so decrease in pressure. We have, so we decrease in pressure. Maybe before we turn it on this vacuum cleaner, maybe we have five or maybe six or eight. So after we have turn it on, decrease in molecules. Let's say we have three left. Three, okay. Oops, what's happening? Okay, so those red molecules. So I'm just going to put those high pressure molecules in red color. Higher pressure means we have greater molecules, right? Greater molecules. Okay. So let me just erase this real quick. So pen, more molecules. Okay. So this region right here. It's high pressure. High pressure. Okay. And the region here. It is low pressure. And those high pressure molecules tends to push those low pressure molecules into the vacuum machine. So let's say we have more molecules, right? More molecules, which means high pressure and black pen, which is low pressure molecules. So those high pressure molecules tends to push these exert more forces or exert forces on these low pressure molecules into the vacuum machine. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in the box. Okay. So this so this is how it works basically. So by this theory right here, because more molecules, right? More molecules, which means you will experience more forces because more molecules are exiting more forces on you or on the lower pressure molecules or lower pressure air molecules. So this guy here tends to push this guy. This guy tends to push this guy. This guy. Okay. So what happens if you push those low pressure molecules? Those low or those lower pressure air molecules, they tend to 
go in front as well, right? Because high pressure push these low pressure molecules, these molecules, of course, it will go away. So this guy here, it will go in here. As soon as these air molecules is being pushed by those higher pressure molecules, it will push this box in and this will push this box in. And this object, this cube, will go into the vacuum machine, the vacuum cleaner. So this is how it works basically. High pressure pushes low pressure air molecules. Low air pressure molecules pushes an object in. So let me erase this a quick one. Uh, yeah, a quick one. So the whole story is simple. High pressure molecules pushes low pressure molecules pushes an object, right? An object into the vacuum machine. So this is the whole story of this process. So as soon as this guy right here, let me just use a dot. So as soon as this object goes into the vacuum cleaner, let me draw here. Okay. And those air molecules being pushed in, it will go out from the vacuum machine like this. So the whole process repeats, repeats the whole process or cycle, right? The whole cycle repeats. Okay, it's a must for, it's a must to let those air pressure to be released because if you do not release those air pressure, let me just go to the next page. Because if you do not release those pressure in this vacuum, oops, 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 a quick one, rectangular, okay. So as long as you do not release those air pressure in the vacuum those it's a box right yeah it's an object so those air pressure will exert force so more molecules is being sucked in so the number of molecules increases so what happens if you increase in number of molecules which means increase in pressure right okay wait i skip it which means you increase in force and increase in pressure Okay, so more molecules wants to hit this guy. So slowly, so slowly, this is your vacuum cleaner. Slowly, if more pressure is being excited by those molecules, it will slowly burst it out and slowly, boom, burst. So, your vacuum will be maybe like a round shape because molecules are exiting force on it so this is what going to happen and in the end this guy will burst boom okay so like burst it out so that's it for this video i hope you have understood this video that what i had just explained and if you do not understand you could maybe just email me or text me on instagram and i will reply to your doubts and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.